Hi, for today's What's It, we want to show you just what is the PE1 controller. We can't go into all the details in this video, but we're just going to show you what it is, why do you want it. The PE1 controller does absolutely nothing by itself. You have to own EC1, and you'll notice that the device actually has no power cord. Um, the only way to uh, turn the device on is through this special cord. One end plugs into PE1, the other end will plug into EC1. So PE1 actually draws its power from EC1. Uh, one of the features of PE1 is that you can get a uh, memory card this again is a very proprietary memory card, can be quite expensive, and uh, interestingly enough, it has its own battery. We were able to change the battery. It's something you can get at the drugstore, so don't worry about that. But the advantage of using PE1 uh, with EC1 is that you get this nice little screen here, and instead of using the inspection button to see which row is going to knit next, it'll show it to you right here on this uh, screen. You can then use these arrows to move um, from row to row in case you need to uh, correct a mistake and back up a row, or maybe you're just trying to figure out what's going on. So you can use the arrow buttons to go back and forth. We think that these buttons over here are not exactly intuitive. That's why uh, we created ourselves a PE1 reference card. This is simply information from the manual with uh, quick instructions on how to um, get a pattern out of memory, how to uh, read a pattern from EC1 and store it in PE1. Um, one of the advantages to PE1 is that it does have memory. So if you're working on a project and you have to stop knitting for the day, um, you can turn it off it will remember the last pattern you worked on for approximately three days, I think. Um, not sure how long this memory lasts. If you store it to your memory card, then it will last a lot longer. I think the battery on the memory card is rated to last five years. This memory card will not remember which row um, you were last knitting on, whereas the internal memory in PE1 will remember you were on pattern uh, whatever row number 12. So that way you make fewer mistakes since it remembers where you left off. It can only remember one, so if you're using PE1 to control several different machines and you're working on several different projects, it only remembers the last project that you worked on. The other advantage to PE1 is that if you color the Mylar in EC1, the dot may appear to be colored to you, but it may not appear to be colored to EC1. Um, when that happens, you're knitting along and you realize that um, there's a stitch that's misplaced. The way to avoid finding that out as you knit is to read it into PE1. PE1 will then know exactly uh, which stitches it thought was selected or not selected, and that way you can uh, know to correct your mylar and reread it, make sure that all the dots are filled in in the right places, and uh, then you can knit your pattern. Now, PE1 has no means of editing a pattern. The only way to edit a pattern is through the mylar on EC1, and that's probably one of its greatest um, disadvantages since it does have this nice little screen and it sure would be convenient to modify it on this device rather than on the Mylar, particularly because the Mylars are very difficult to find these days and if yours gets damaged, um, could be very expensive to replace. The other advantage to PE1 is that it can accept a download from Designinit. What you have to do is buy this special cord Okay, and uh, there's a junction box that goes three ways. Okay, two, these two will plug into uh, 
um, EC1 and PE1. Then the third uh, prong goes out to your computer. So the uh, pattern will come through this side of the cord and will then uh, send the pattern here to PE1 where you can save it onto the memory card. The uh, red side to, e to EC1 is purely for power. So remember that PE1 has no power of its own and uh, the other thing is just that PE1 cannot connect to your knitting machine. The only connection to your knitting machine carriage is through the cord on EC1. So that's what this side is. Unfortunately, you can't leave this cord uh, connected in order to do your knitting. It's only used for transferring to PE1. Once you get the design onto your memory card, then you will want to use the original cord here to plug on this side and back into EC1 so that uh, EC1 and PE1 will be able to communicate to your knitting carriage. So this was just an overview of PE1, uh, just so you, that you know what it is, and we'll do other videos on some of the details on how to use it. Thanks for watching.